Richard, it was a challenging one for the Nets in Utah, but they were shorthanded, and some other players got an opportunity. And namely, I want to start with with your number 24, Alize Johnson, just signed to a 10-day contract, and a handful of guys got a chance to get their opportunity with some extra run, some extra minutes. But what did you see out of the performance that he came away with here tonight? Well. Well, I, I just want to give people a look inside the culture of basketball. We understand as athletes when you play for X amount of years that opportunities for guys like Alizé Johnson don't come along very, very often. And so to see a player come out there on a 10-day meeting your coach that morning, and, and I've often said this, I've said it on the air you know, with you, is that you're not just auditioning for the Brooklyn Nets. You're auditioning for every team in this league. So you really have to compliment a player that doesn't really know the system uh, is coming off a, a G League uh, year and goes out there and puts out that type of effort. You know you're shorthanded. You know that you're probably not going to beat the best team in the league statistically in the Utah Jazz, but you can put forth effort. And, you know, Alizé Johnson did that. Chioza played well. There are a lot of people out there just giving their best effort, and that's something to be complimented on. Yeah, and give the Utah Jazz credit because I think anytime you look at a team that has the best record in the league playing a team in Brooklyn that was missing so many key players, uh, they came in locked in, ready to go, and certainly did not overlook the Nets regardless yeah. of who was in the roster and in the lineup. But Richard, take me inside the, the Nets locker room, or now it is Steve Nash and this group turn the page. Um, what do you take away from a game like this? Well, well, you take away that, that you were able to get some guys some rest. You saw that this wasn't just about, you know, James Harden, who's dealing with the neck issue resting. But you, you didn't see a ton of minutes from Joe Harris. You didn't see a ton of minutes uh, from, from DeAndre Jordan. So they were able to get some rest. And, and at the end of the day, you've seen the Nets, the way they've played versus Western Conference opponents, getting a rare win up in Portland just last night against a fully healthy uh, Portland team. Well, obviously, they were missing Nurkic, but they had their backcourt. So... This was, you know, this was still a positive road trip. And I, I really think when you look at this game and moving forward, it's that, look, we got some guys an opportunity to play. We got some guys a rest. So this can still be, even though it's not going to go as a win, but there can be a win for the Brooklyn Nets because of the things that came. Rest and you got other guys opportunities. Yeah, well, the Nets will close out this road trip going to Detroit and still uncertain the status of some players like James Harden. Um, I think we can uh, assume that Blake Griffin will be available when he makes his return uh, back to Detroit, dealing with that left knee management. Landry Shamit's still uncertain about him. But what do you see in this matchup in for Brooklyn as they play a team, a struggling team like Detroit? Well, now it all is about who is healthy, who is healthy, who you're going to have the opportunity to get on the court with. If the Nets are able to go with James Harden, if Blake Griffin's able to play, then that's a game that the Nets should win. And so, yes, tonight is an uh, this game, I don't want to say went as expected, but you had to kind of temper your expectations a little bit. Now, you get into Detroit, and what you don't want is something to start building. You don't want to get into Detroit and James plays and Blake plays, but they just don't show up. So, hey, this was one game. There was an opportunity for for some rest there was an opportunity to get people minutes but now moving forward it's like okay let's get back let's get back to playing the basketball that they've really played over the last month yeah it's been fun to watch be interesting to see and of course richard uh we appreciate you and, and making sure number 24 uh r remains showing impressive oh. impressive performances here for the brooklyn nets